Hi, I've asked my son Garrett to go grocery shopping today and he's about ready to get home to put the groceries away, but he's never done it before. I was hoping you could help him know where to put the groceries. Let's talk about places in the kitchen where we can put our food. Many of our foods go in a place called the pantry. It's like a closet where we put our food or in some homes you put your food in the cupboard. Things that go in the pantry are things that are safe to eat at room temperature. Room temperature is normally the temperature that your house is. So if you put a food in the pantry, it will usually last for a couple of months and it will stay fresh and safe to eat at room temperature. Some of these foods are bread, canned foods, chips, pasta, and cereal. Another place to store our food is in the fridge. The fridge keeps things nice and cold. That cold temperature keeps our food fresh and safe to eat for a few days. Some things to store in the refrigerator are milk, meat, yogurt, and condiments like ketchup and mustard that have been opened. If a food needs to be stored in the fridge and isn't, it can spoil and make you sick. The last place to store our food is the freezer. The freezer keeps things really cold. That really cold temperature can freeze things like ice cubes and popsicles. That really cold temperature also makes it so our food stays fresh and safe for a couple of months. Some things that we keep in the freezer are ice cream, frozen pizzas, frozen meat, and frozen fruits and vegetables. If these things are not left in the freezer where they need to be, they can melt or become unsafe to eat. One strategy to help you know where to put things when you come home from the grocery store is if you come directly home from the grocery store, your things that are supposed to be cold should still feel cold, like this gallon of milk. I could tell by touching it that it's cold, that it needs to either go in the fridge or the freezer. Frozen things will probably still be frozen and you'll be able to tell that. Also, if you're not sure, ask somebody. You don't want to eat food that hasn't been stored properly because it can make you sick. All right, it, Garrett is almost home and I'm going to need your help for him to put these groceries away in the right spot. Thanks. Hi, I'm Garrett. I just came back from the grocery store. Can you help me unload these groceries? These are chicken tenders. Do you know where these go? Mmm, bacon. Do you know where this goes? This is bread. Do you know where this goes? This is butter. Do you know where this goes? These are frosted chocolate fudge Pop-Tarts. Where do these go? This is raw ground beef. Do you know where this goes? These are greeny beans. Do you know where these go? This is soup. Do you know where this goes? This is butter. I don't remember where it goes, but it feels cold. So it goes in the fridge. Soup. Uh, cool. My mom makes soup and she usually puts it in the fridge. Is that where this goes? Whoops. This goes in the pantry. It hasn't been opened yet. Corn. This still feels frozen. I think it goes in the freezer. What do you think? Thanks for helping me know where to put my groceries. Now I can put them away. Thanks for helping Garrett with the groceries. His food will stay fresh and safe because it was put in the right place. Always remember that foods that are room temperature, like breads, pasta, and cereal, go in the pantry. Cold food like meat, milk, and open condiments go in the fridge. And really cold things like ice cream and frozen pizza go in the freezer. My challenge for you this week is to help unload the groceries when they get brought home.